Hello everyone, I am Nitij and in this video, we will build a dynamic tabs component in React that loads content lazily, improving our application's performance. We will style this tab using Tailwind CSS for a modern responsive look. Let's see how this tab works and how it can be implemented. So this is the finished product that we are going to build. If I will refresh this page, then you will see that the tab contents are first loading lazily and then they are rendered. Now this was for the home tab. Now let's click on first the profile tab. First a loading message appears and then the tab content appears. Similarly for messages as well. First a loading message appears and then the messages tab is opened up. Inside the network tab also you can see the chunks for home profile and messages tab being loaded asynchronously. Now this tabs component is going to be dynamic which simply means that we cannot hard code anything. So let's get started with the code and see how we can build this component in react. This is a default boilerplate react application built using the create react app command. Now let's first open up app.js file and first from the app component I am going to remove the stuff that we are not going to need. So let's remove this header first and let's remove this class name along with these two imports as well. Now first let's start with creating the component for our dynamic tab. So I'm just going to call the tabs component as tabs and this is going to accept the arguments for the tabs collection which we are going to render. To start with let's just first create a state variable for the active tab index. So active tab index and then set active tab index equals to use state. We are going to use the first tabs index as the active tab index. So zero is going to be set as the value. Now let's add the return statement to return our tab buttons and the tab content area. So for that I'm going to create a div first. And then this div is going to be for our tab buttons and then this next one is going to be for our tab content. Now over here let's set the classes for this tab buttons container. So I have already mentioned that I am using Tailwind CSS to style this tabs component. So I am going to set the Tailwind's utility classes to set the border and to also um, place the tab buttons in the center. Now we can iterate over the different tabs. Now the tabs collection is going to be provided in a specific format where we are going to get the tabs title and also the tab components path. So I will show you how we can pass this specific format of tabs collection. So tabs.map and then um, in this callback function we can first add the argument for the tab object itself and then the index and then we can return the tab button in each iteration so button the button text is going to be tab dot title and let's add the key for our button the button key is going to be the current um, iterations index Let's also add the on click event. So when this tab button is going to be clicked, then we simply have to update the active tab index. So that can be done by calling a function, which is then going to call or set the active tab index value. So set active tab index, we can provide the current index as an argument. Next, let's provide the class name for our tab button. So class name equals to but let's set the class name conditionally based on the active tab because there must be some way for the user to know which tab is currently active. So I'm going to add an expression over here for the class name. So let's first add the classes that are going to be applied for both active and inactive tab button states. So we are setting the um, y axis padding as to the x axis padding. The text is going to be small font medium text is centered and the cursor is pointer. Let's check the active tab index. So active tab index, if it is equal to current index, then it simply means that this tab button is currently active. So what we can do is we can provide the active state styling value 
and for that i am just going to provide the bottom border and the bottom border color is going to be blue and the text is also going to be blue if this tab is not currently active then we can set the text as in gray and the hover text can be set as blue let's just format this document first now for the tab content i am just going to provide the class name as um, p4 now how do we render the tab content because we have to dynamically load the tabs component now to do that what we can do is we can simply create a lazy loaded tab content value and then we can render that directly by wrapping it with a suspense boundary to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a const lazy tab um, hold on a lazy tab content equals to react dot lazy and then we can dynamically import the component by using the components path so this can be done by providing a callback function and then returning the dynamic import so the dynamic imports path is going to be the active tabs component path so tabs and then active tab index dot component path all right now let's import suspense to use the suspense boundary in this component and over here i'm just going to add the um, suspense component and then let's wrap the lazy tab content let's also provide a fallback ui so the fallback ui is simply going to contain a div with a message so the message can be loading and let's also provide some styling to it as well so class name equals to text sender i think we are done with our dynamic tabs component now let's format this document once and now to use this component in the app component i am first going to get the tabs data but to do that we need to create a bunch of components which can be loaded as modules asynchronously so for that i'm going to first create a components folder and then inside this folder i will create three components the first one is going to be the home the second one is going to be the messages and the third one is going to be the profile so first inside the home component i will create a new file with the name index.jsx and then i will use the shortcut um, to create the component function so home and then to create two more components i'm just going to copy this home component and then paste it over here in the components folder but i will rename it to messages along with the component name as well so messages and then let's copy home once more and paste it in the components folder for a third component so let's rename it as profile so let's rename the component name as well profile okay now let's get back to app.js file again now in the app component i am going to create the tabs collection and let's call it as tab data this is going to be an array and for each array item we need to provide a title for the tab title because we are using the tab title as the button text over here in our tabs component so the title is going to be let's start with the home component so home and then for the component path property value we can provide the um, hold on the component path which is going to be our components and then home okay now let's add two more tabs over here for profile and for messages so profile and messages now from the app component we can return this tab component directly so tabs and then tabs equals to tab data i think we need to import react over here as well okay so i think we are done with our code but there seems to be some inconsistency in the way we are importing the dynamic module and that is this cannot be a dynamic value we have to provide it in the form of a string so what i am going to do is i'm going to use a template string and then let's move this value 
within the template string as a um, you know template value so now i think this is going to work so you must be thinking why we need to do that so for module bundlers i believe we cannot provide these dynamic values directly because at the time of build they will not be able to determine what um, import path is this one so i believe we should either use a hard-coded string literal or um, a template string like this now let's check if our code is working or not so i'm going to open up the terminal and then i will run the command npm start okay so this is our tabs component and let's click on different tabs now i am briefly seeing the loading message but to see it more clearly i will simply throttle our network speed so let's throttle it to um, fast 3g and refresh our page okay so the document is loading and initially you can now see the loading message and our uh, let me just zoom in the console the um, the home tabs chunk is initially loaded now let's click on the profile tab button the loading message is here and the profile chunk is now loaded and then click on messages now you can see that the tab content is not being loaded initially all together with the main page so it means that the tab content is being loaded on demand as the user need to access the features which are provided in this tab content which simply makes our application more performant and faster to load and that my friends was everything about building a dynamic lazy loading tabs component in react which is styled with tailwind css i hope you found this tutorial helpful and it enhances your web development skills by implementing lazy loading you ensure your application loads faster providing a better user experience thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video